When we talk about the spiritual life and the goal of the spiritual life, there are different ways to describe that. Sometimes it's described as union with God, the union of our wills with God's will. Sometimes it's described as the perfection of charity. You know, other times it's talked about as conformity to Christ. And all of these are different ways of saying the same thing. Now in today's gospel, there's this verse that says, When fully trained, every disciple will be like his teacher. So this leads us more to thinking about uh, the description of the spiritual life as conformity to Christ. When fully trained, every disciple will be like his teacher. And so, uh, in a certain sense, God is training us, okay, by the events in our life, through the grace of the sacraments and uh, all of these things. And we see the transformation that can take place, for example, in the life of St. Paul. He says, I was once a blasphemer and a persecutor and an arrogant man. But he was trained by Jesus Christ and became so much in conformity to Christ that he could say, it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. He would exhort the faithful, be an imitator of me as I am of Christ. You know? So this is um, the goal, right? To become more and more like Christ. And Jesus in today's gospel says one thing in particular. He says, why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own? You see, we should be um, hard on ourselves and merciful towards others. This is what we see in the lives of the saints, like St. Saint Francis, uh, who again was a great saint, being conformed to Christ. Jesus actually pointed out St. Francis as the saint whose heart was most like his own sacred heart. And so St. Francis, he was hard on himself, but merciful towards others. Now, the tendency of our own fallen human nature, our own disordered self-love, is to be hard on others and to be merciful towards ourselves with our own faults and failings. We're so ready to excuse ourselves, and, and yet with others, we expect everybody else to be perfect. And when they're not, we get impatient, angry. Why can't they get this right? Okay? And that is not um, the way uh, we see, the example we see in the lives of the saints. It is not what we see in Christ's exhortation, his teaching to us. So let's allow uh, ourselves to be trained by our teacher, who is Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.